So we're going to be talking about quantum numbers today. The main concept is that the set of these four quantum numbers, n, l, m sub l, and n sub s, describes the most probable location of an electron. n, which is the principal quantum number, is the energy level the electron is in, and it can be any positive integer not including zero. So if n equals 1, the electron would be in the first energy level, and if n equals 2, it would be in the second energy level. L, which is also called the azimuthal quantum number, is the sublevel the electron is in, and it can be any positive integer, including 0, up to n minus 1. So if L equals 0, the electron would be in the S sublevel, and if L equals 1, the electron would be in the p sublevel, and so on. m sub l, which is also called the magnetic quantum number, is the orbital of the sublevel that the electron is in. It can be anything from negative l to positive l inclusive. So, for example, if l equals 2, then the ml values can be negative 2, negative 1, 0, positive 1, and positive 2. M sub s, which is also called the spin quantum number, is the direction that the electron spins. If it's positive one half, the electron would be spinning clockwise, and if it's negative one half, it would be spinning counterclockwise. So, for example, uh, if I were to draw this in a diagram, an arrow going up would mean M, s, M sub s is positive one half, and the electron is spinning clockwise. And if uh, the arrow is going down, then m sub s is negative one half, and the electron is spinning counter counterclockwise. And don't be confused with the mathematical convention that says that positive is the counterclockwise direction. Moving on to the critical thinking questions. So number one asks you to explain why each of the following is not an allowed combination of quantum numbers. For B, we know that if L equals 1, then M sub L must be between negative 1 and positive 1. Therefore, an M sub L value of negative 2 is impossible. For C, we know that m sub s can only have values of positive and negative one half. So an m sub s value of negative one is impossible. Two asks, if n equals four, then what are the possible values of l? And we know that the possible values of l are all integers between zero and n minus one. So they would be 0, 1, 2, and 3. Uh, number 3 asks, if L equals 3, then what are the possible values of M sub L? And we know that uh, M sub L can have values between negative 3, or negative L, and positive L. So they would be negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, all the way up to positive 3. So number four asks us to fill in the blanks in the following table. So for the first energy level, we know that the only sublevel that is possible is the S sublevel, which corresponds to an L value of zero. So and for n equals three, if the possible values are zero, one, and two, we know that the possible sublevels are S, P, and D because an L value of 0 corresponds to the S sublevel, 1 corresponds to P, and 2 corresponds to D. For the fourth energy level, we know that if the possible sublevels are S, P, D, and F, the possible L values are 0, 1, 2, and 3, because these sublevels correspond to these values of L. And 5 asks you to use the table from 4 to complete the questions. So an S, an S sublevel means that L equals 0, 
P means 1, D means 2, and F means 3. So the following questions can be easily answered by looking at table 3. Number 6 asks, how many M sub L values are possible for a D sublevel? And looking at the table, we can see that there are 5. Number 7 asks, how many orbitals are there for a D sublevel? And that is also 5. Number 8 asks, how many M sub L values are possible for an F sublevel? And the answer is 7. And how many orbitals are there? Also 7. 10 asks us about the correlation that exists between the number of orbitals and the number of possible M sub L values. And looking at our previous answers, we can see that the number of orbitals equals the number of possible M sub L values. That is to say that each orbital is assigned an M sub L value. Number 11 asks us to explain why the set of quantum numbers is 4, 3, negative 2, and negative 1 half for the following electron. And we can say that n equals 4 because it's in the fourth energy level, l equals 3 because it's in the f sub level, m sub l equals negative 2 because it's in the second orbital left of the middle one, and m sub s equals negative 1 half because the arrow is pointing down, so that means the electron is spinning counterclockwise. Number 12 asks us to draw an orbital diagram for an electron whose quantum numbers are 5, 2, 0, and positive 1 half. So over here, I've drawn it 5 because n equals 5, d because l equals 2. The arrow is in this position because m sub l equals 0, and the arrow is pointing up because m sub s is positive one half. Moving on to skill practice. Number one asks us which of the following combinations are not possible? So a is not possible because if n equals 3 then l must be less than or equal to n minus 1 so less than or equal to 2. So l equals 3 is impossible. B is correct, C is incorrect because N cannot be zero, and D is correct. Number two asks, uh, an electron is in a certain energy level where the maximum value of L is four. What energy level is it in? So if we know that the maximum L value is N minus one, then N equals the maximum L value plus 1. So n equals 5, and the electron is in the fifth energy level. 3 asks, how many m sub l values are possible when l equals 5? Well, if we think about it, if we draw the diagram, we go l spaces to the left, and l spaces to the right, and there's a 0 in the middle. So the number of m sub l values is 2l plus 1. And if we plug in 5, we get 11. 4 asks, what are the four quantum numbers for the following electron notation? n equals 3 because it's in the third energy level, l equals 1 because it's in the p sublevel, m sub l equals negative 1 because it's in the orbital left of the middle one, and m sub s is negative 1 half because the arrow is pointing down. 5 tells us to draw an orbital diagram for an electron whose quantum numbers are 6, 3, negative 2, and positive 1 half. So there is a 6 here because n equals 6. It's in the f sublevel because l equals 3. The electron is in the second orbital left of the middle because m sub l equals negative 2 and the arrow is pointing up because m sub s is positive one half. Six tells us to do the same thing but 
for an electron whose quantum numbers are 3, 2, positive 1, and negative 1 half. A 3 because n equals 3, d because l equals 2, the electron is in the orbital right of the middle one because m sub l is positive 1, and the arrow is pointing down because m sub s is negative 1 half.